<laughs> what better thing to do when you are quarantined than to do some gardening? So I have someone from my quarantine, Bill, my lovely assistant. Thank you. <laughs> He's here to help me build this garden so that you can build one at home too. So you remember, we cut this 50 gallon drum in half, actually build it, thank you so much. And he drilled some holes in the bottom of it. Now we found this screen. Bill, where did you yeah. get the screen? So this is just out of a regular window screen. This is of a material that is steel and not the fiberglass okay. mesh. So All I'm right. using the steel, it has a little finer uh, what weave to it. Okay, and we cut it to fit right at the bottom. So you remember all those holes that we drilled and they'll help all the water drain through. He just lightly puts it on the screen itself so we can hold the screen in place. Good job, thanks for that. And the potting soil is different, you're right, Bill. And it's got these little white granules in it and that's called perlite. And that helps give a little bit of space in the soil so it doesn't get com compacted and also helps us hold, hold a little bit moisture. This is different than the soil you might find in your own flower bed around your house, right Bill? That's right, that's why you found the rock because it is truly recycled yes. material. Right, and then we're all about recycling. Everything in this project is something that's been recycled. So that's a lot of fun. Okay, Correct. I think we're good. We're about halfway full and now it's time for that secret ingredient. Bill found some great compost for us. What's in that, Bill? So this is an old straw that has been exposed to moisture over time, and you can see that the decay started a little farther accelerated in the darker material than the lighter yeah. material was more mm -hmm. on the top. We consider this almost like gourmet food for your plants. Let's throw a few more handfuls in sure, there. Sure, I'll throw some in there, you spread it out. All right, and like a manufactured uh, fertilizer, it's kind of like McDonald's, it's fast food. It, it helps, it does feed it, but something like this, it'll give your, flower, your plants a little bit more nutrition kind of like gourmet food. Can we put another layer of soil on top of that for we me, certainly please? certainly can. You All right. And so we're going to really fill this up so it's almost to the top. So when you're picking up those bags of soil, make sure you get at least three or four bags. That's good. There you go. <laughs> of course, you have your drainage down below, but also it's just one of the things about a raised bed. It doesn't retain its moisture. It will dry out quicker than anything on the ground. We have to add a little bit of something else. There are, there are a lot of different products out there, but this is called Soil Moist. I'm going to put a few scoopfuls in your hand, and you just sprinkle it on top. And what that does is expands almost like a balloon, and it will hold, literally hold water in this soil. Next thing we will show you, we will show you how to irrigate it and also plant it. You ready to help me with that one next time? I'm ready to move on. Get, Get going. going.